Um, um, okay. So I've got asked this other question on, I think it was death. Yeah. Why do I, why do I or others focus on death and dying and illness? Okay. So death, dying and illness. Yes, no. With kidney failure, facing death, being on the brink of death and various horrible illnesses that seemed to occur around that time and existed for some years. Um, uh, the death and the dying um it, it's you know for me these these what why it's the huge since since birth in this place um the huge identification that i am my body and i am my thoughts and that if i lost my body and i lost the thoughts the story of this uh, identity if i lost all of that if that ceased to exist then existence would cease to exist i.e. the source of existence and happiness and joy is um, the, the ego identity, the stories that the ego holds, thinking that that's what I am, and uh, and and also the body, that's the thing I am. And then, um, and oh my goodness, if that was to be threatened, like the end of, of the story and the end of the physical body, then that would bring up the fear of annihilation, of non-existence um, uh, and so and having to go through that it can also bring up for me there's two aspects one is suffering we want, uh, i don't want to be in a body that's dying of kidney failure for a long periods of time um, and uh, or identified with it sure it's more accurate and also um so there's the suffering story like who wants an illness i'd rather have bliss and uh, to to you know scream for attention like the body screams for attention or not being able to breathe doesn't want that that's an aspect and also the um for me um it's not so much um the fear of death because i don't believe i am the body i believe the story and the ego can continue after the, uh, the physical um disidentification from the physical world it's not that it's the ego's fear uh, within uh, that if the ego story ceases to exist and one goes off into the infinite, then um, uh, then it's familiar, just being a separated ego identity carrying on its story for all eternity is familiar. And it's, it's to be uh, my white light spiritual experience, to be in infinite light, never return, to never return to having the body and the story ever exist for all eternity. Uh, it brings up fear and the fear of the ego, the fear of the death of the ego, which used to happen before I thought, you know, in, in various forms. So they are, in, it is a formidable, I think, the, the thing of transcending uh, fear and separation in this world and the lessons that bring up. I mean, it, until it's transcended, I remember once... Um, with watching a DVD of one of my spiritual teachers, um, the three of us watching how to, you know, just chop the thoughts away. That's not what you are. You're not the body. You're not the story. Chop, chop, chop. And then within all three of us, this extreme terror of never, the ego never existing arose. And I knew that was what many teachers had talked of, the, the final death of the ego, the fear of, uh, this is not just physical death. This is the death of the ego story for all eternity came up. I refused it and the other two with me refused it as it came up for all three of us at the same time and the terror was so extreme it's not like the terror of death it's a different type of terror anyway so that that fear and uh in my view uh until the ego is uh, is, is has died and enlightenment exists it does come up in various forms until you know the the body and the story uh, is is transcended you know the the fears around that are transcended uh, and and uh, the awakening has occurred so i'll stop there on that one um